I'm Jerry Cannon, uh, captain of 452 Station Tamworth. I've been captain since 1978. I've been in brigade in Tamworth for 60 years uh, and enjoyed every minute of it. That's my first day in the job back in 1957 and that was me at Christmas time this year. And that's after 60 years. I've attended to the station at probably about 20,000 times. Those hills up there, we've had fires all over those hills. Um, we had an explosion, big explosion down at the Starch factory 30 years ago. I remember it well because uh, I spent nine days in hospital lying on my back because I crushed a couple of vertebrae and I just got over it, turned up again. We had an L gas fire down in Peel Street, which was a very scary until we could get the gas valves turned off. That's what we were going to. You could see it all over town. Numerous building fires and house fires and uh, motor vehicle accidents and um, all sorts of things. I think we've gone through about 15 to 20 different fire appliances in the time and each one has got more equipment and better equipment. This is the one that I, I got my motor driver's badge on. It was an old Dennis with the handbrake and a gear change on the, on the running board. No windscreen, open cabin, um, seating on the, on the back of it, two and three quarter inch canvas hose, knapsacks and beaters, and a couple of chemics. And you just hung on whenever you uh, responded on it. Oh well, now I can I drive the um, uh, Scania, which is automatic and comfortable seats and all the mod cons and modern technologies. We can get to work much quicker with this. You still got to put water on the fire. Change our helmets from brass helmets to uh, white helmets. Uh, it wasn't until a lot later that we got over trousers and uh, different tunic and we've done away with the belt max. But one of the biggest changes is when we've got breathing apparatus. Um, for my first 25 years, if you went into a, a house full of smoke, you just sucked it up. And, uh, and then when the, we got issued with breathing apparatus, well, we thought we were bulletproof. So uh, that was taken in 1999, and that was our crew. We had just had two SOs that worked back-to-back -back shifts. This was my first championship uh, back in um, 1958 at Orange, but that was when we had to wear our belt max and cap. I was going up the scaling ladders there. Uh, I think we might have got a second place or third place. I got married on the 1st of October in 1960. There was the brigade demonstration championships on at Tweed Heads two weeks later. So we finished up at the championships on our honeymoon. Well, I competed in them all right up until uh, I could get a crew to take over from me. So yeah, it was good hard competition. Uh, way back in those days, we'd get 90 to 100 teams at the championships. We had a good time when we were away. The boys won at the um, Australasian Championships at Uchuka uh, last year. It's really good training for um, for the retained. That's my wife and I at the back of the station when I was presented with the Queen's Fire Service Medal and I was one of the last recipients to get it. A letter to Jerry Cannon from 452 Station, Tamworth. You have shown application and service beyond anything ever seen in our organisation. You epitomise the values necessary to serve one's community, not only as a retained firefighter, but as a well-respected community leader worthy of every accolade the Brigade has bestowed upon you. I have been humbled by your dedication to your crew at 452 Station and consider it an honour to have been part of your illustrious career. I wish you all the best in your impending retirement and want you to know that you'll always remain part of a wonderful family that is Fire and Rescue New South Wales. I'll be pleased when I can hand my pager and the keys back so that I can relax.